Welcome to the Collecting Kites. Collecting memories and treasures in New Zealand. Jackson has just given me the most, do you want to show us the donuts? The most amazing, see there they are. They are so yummy aren't they darling? Yeah. Okay now look at this spectacular jardinier. No, uh, massive, uh, what, rice bowl? I have no idea but that rice is spe bowl, spectacular isn't it? Look at the detail in that. This is in Katie's stall. Oh, she's got raccoons. She's got funny panda. <laughs> oh, dear me. And she's got, wait for it, she has a McAlpine jug. Yeah, Nana Kite has got one, hasn't she? Oh, and there's that beautiful owl. Now, I did spot something very spectacular here. I'm going to do a backwards walk and a pan through the lovely Katie's things and show you. No, not that, but this piece of glass here, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's stunning. Let's go around here and look at it a bit more detail. Sorry, me. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we are in the lovely Glenis's stall. I was going to call it a booth but they're more like stalls here at the collectibles market. Now that is a very odd ashtray but very interesting and this looks like that could be artisan in Canada. Maybe. And this one even though it's coloured looks like it could be too. She's nodding her head so I wonder if I can be brave enough to pick it up. I think that might be. I'm not entirely sure because it is coloured. I know that Artisan Narinkanada does do some coloured pieces. This one here definitely, well, I say definitely, but that has to be, surely. But I'm not I'm not entirely sure. If you know if this is an Artisan Narinkanada piece, this one, this lovely hippo, house hippo, or the birdie, the toucan. Let me know in the comments guys, because I'm not entirely sure, but either way, very cool pieces. Maybe even that polar bear, look at that. Let's see if he's marked. Yeah, it's got, I'm, yeah I think he might be. He's got that feel, doesn't he? Artisania, Rinconada. I love saying that. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. <laughs> This is very cool. The ponytail plate. I'm trying another one of those silver things. You didn't? Yeah. What colour is it? It's, um, wait, that colour. Oh, the green. Oh, yes. I've se I spotted that too. Thanks for letting me know, though. I love this duck planter. We've got Jackson on the hunt for silver as well. We've got to teach them young so they know what to look for. Uh. Oh, I really like that paperweight there. That's pretty. Oh, and this one too. If you turn that to the side, you can see. That's really nice. I like that. Pink glass bell. Look at these. If those are salt and peppers or not. <coughs> Got these lovely candles made out of shells. Pretty. Oh, this plate is lovely. It's very vibrant colours on that. Walzers. Look at that. That's very cool. 
And this has to be the piece. Look at this. Slow pan. Now people that are into this kind of glass know immediately what it is by me showing this. Ready? Drum roll. Do, 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 do. It is a piece of Empoli. Look at it. Beautiful. Now I have already snapped a picture of this to send to my friend Naomi who does collect glass, particularly Empoli. So um, she's actually at another market that's in another area of New Zealand at the moment. Normally she'd come here but she is gallivanting around off to somewhere else. Uh, but I have taken a photo and we'll see if she is interested in that piece. But it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the base of it. So I'll step back and show you in all its glory. Beautiful. Made in Ital Italiano. Okay, we are at the lovely gentleman's booth and Jackson has stumbled across some uranium and we've got our wee light that we got and just keep it still and up the top darling that's where you can see it really well right up the top yeah look at that that is cool and then look, look at it now. oh yeah that's great and then what about that next one darling the next vase yeah that is beautiful good that is lovely but do you know what piece i really really like I really like this satin piece here. That doesn't glow, but still, look, look at it now. that is absolutely spectacular. Look at it now. Good spotting, darling. Yeah, that's really cool. But it's that satin piece I really like. If yeah. You don't look. yeah, but just be really careful. Lift it up because we don't want to touch the glass at all. That's it. Yeah, very cool. I know lots and lots of people that love uranium oh, glass. What about down here? No. Oh, here's a nice piece no. too. Is that uranium? No. No. But lovely things though. Oh, this might be, is that? No, it's not. Oh. Look at this. See the delicate flowers on this, darling? Now, don't touch it, but it's very... It's not often that you see these flowers intact because they're so so delicate that because they're so old and they're passed down from different generations they have a tendency to break so I can just touch it and it'll shift. oh we're not touching anything like that oh my goodness oh look here's a lovely Jen would you like to be on video Jen no I'm good <laughs> hey look there's a little Wade that's Wade isn't it am I right Shamrock pottery Yes. Wade. Wade. Yeah. And I, I think that is beautiful. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Yeah, it is gorgeous, eh? Who made that? I just realised yeah. I hadn't been videoing that entire time. <laughs> now I am videoing. Now the lovely Jen, I am a plonker. Jen's just found this beautiful trinket dish. And we've just discovered that it is made by Wedgwood. And it has been confirmed by the lovely gentleman who owns this piece, have you got it? That it's by the same maker as the Wedgwood, you know, the traditional green and yeah. and the black and the, yeah. Who would know him? I would never have guessed that, but that is, I wouldn't mind buying that. That is so pretty. It is very I pretty. I think Jay needs this in her life. I know. <laughs> Do, that's, it's not an entire set, is it? Oh my god, it's the entire no, set. It's $5.40. Five dollars a forty. This is this, 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 this is Denby. Oh that's Denby. Yeah, oh. That's Denby pottery is these other right. cool jugs. Oh, okay. Is this is that Denby too or is that what's this? Hammersley. Hammersley? That's all made in England, right? Yeah, it's all English. All English. And then you got this joker down here who's not English. What is he? Dun 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 dun. Of course, he is Wade Irish Pottery. Here we go. Now, we have just discovered, well, this gentleman already knew, but this is Wade. Is this Wade English? Wade English. Now, this, the man just told me that this is Wade made in England, 
But then over here, this is Wade, made in Ireland. I did not realise that Wade was made in both countries. I think Wade is Irish originally. Was it? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, and then there's English Wade. They were made in Stoke on Trent. Stoke yeah. on Trent. Yeah. And then and so they popped the little and fawn yeah, onto the, the factory is still going. The factory's still going. Yeah, in the way, yeah. Wow. This has been a learning morning for me. Hmm? Look yeah. at those. Those are adorable. Yeah, I, used to have these when we were kids. I love these bunnies. Now I picked this dog up thinking he could be, but he doesn't have the right glaze to be Silvac. But it is I'm not quite sure what that says, but it's not silver, but definitely still collectible. Lots of collectibles here at the collectibles market, but that, that is the piece. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe that pig is weighed too. Who would have guessed? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you later, guys.